completely dead in here. There's absolutely no reverberation at all. So we'll see how the vibraphone sounds in here. This is an anechoic chamber, a room with no reverberation. The walls, ceiling, and even the floor are carefully designed to absorb sound waves. There's really absolutely no echo at all, and that's quite strange. Uh, um, even when you're speaking, you, you don't even hear any kind of echo coming from your voice. I don't think any musician would enjoy playing in a room like this for very long. For musicians, it's a, a very important part of, of playing is, is to be able to listen. And in, in a room like this, it, I think it would be very hard to, to hear each other. A good acoustic brings warmth to music, and uh, in a room like this, you don't get that at all. To demonstrate the other extreme, Jeff sets up his vibraphone in St. Michaelis, Hamburg's largest church. In a large space with hard walls, sound behaves in a completely different way. When Alpert plays a note on his vibraphone, it sends out sound in all directions. With the church's hard surfaces, the sound continues to bounce from wall to wall for several seconds. You can hear... You have about three or four seconds where it echoes. Comparing the sounds of the church with the anechoic chamber, it's easy to hear the difference. If there's too much reverberation, the sound can become mushy as individual notes blend with the repeats of the notes just played. The perfect concert hall, I think, would have to be something right in the middle. Um, and that would mean also that the, the reverberation is not too long, like it is here. Uh, and but it has to be a lot more than it would be in the anechoic chamber. 